Hello, I'm Mark Eckert, the Packaging Product Manager for Volvo Construction Equipment North America. I'm here today to show you how to calibrate and operate Volvo's intelligent compaction system. Let's take a look. Volvo's IC system is the only IC system that can be calibrated to estimate density. It is the only system that can correlate the vibration data we get from the accelerometer to density in real time, visible to the operator. We start by adding a work order. There are two ways to add or delete a work order. One, you can tap the settings menu and tap on work order. Or two, you can tap the hard hat to display the list of existing work orders. Now I'm going to add a work order by tapping on add. Next, I just tap on each field to bring up the keyboard to name the work order, put in the customer and the foreman. Now, I just have to tap save work order to save it. Next, you tap add lift. You will need to add a lift for each layer of material that you're compacting. So if you're paving a new road with a base course, binder course, and wearing course, you will need to add a lift for each of these. When you tap add lift, the menu will bring up fields for lift number, name, aggregate size, mix type, and target passes. Simply use the touch screen to add this information. When complete, you tap calibration setup. The calibration will automatically be given a name. The other field is where the operator's name is input. Next, you select the amplitude setting you have the machine set on. This is an 8 amplitude machine, so there is a sliding bar to select which setting the machine is in. Next, you must select the min and max density. The min density is the density expected after the first pass of the breakdown roller. And the max density is the maximum density from the mix design sheet provided from the lab. When complete, simply tap calibration. This will bring up the calibration screen. You will see on the left side the machine icon for pass mapping. And on the right side will display the coordinates for the three test markers. Density Direct utilizes an artificial neural network, or ANN, to estimate density. Because it is a neural network and not just a mathematical algorithm, we have the ability to train it. And that's what we're doing during the calibration process. Before hitting calibration, the operator must bring the machine up to speed with vibration on. You want to be at a speed consistent with what you're going to compact the rest of the mat with. Once the machine is moving, the operator may hit the calibration start button. At this point, the machine will plot three markers in front of the machine. The first marker will be five feet in front of the rear drum. The next point will be plotted 10 feet in front of the first point, and the third will be 10 feet from the second point. The points will be shown as black dots on the left side of the co-pilot display in the pass map, and the actual coordinates will be filled in on the right side of the screen. The operator uses the pass map to ensure he or she is covering the points completely with each pass. The points on the right side of the machine will change in color from red to yellow to green. After the fourth pass, the lights will turn green and the system will now allow you to tap finish calibration. Now that we have completed our four passes and made a fifth pass over the core zone, I can hit the finish calibration button and you will see the system initializing the calibration. To find the locations to take the additional tests, we will use a GPS rover. We have our RTK base station connected to this RTK rover unit. I have already input the coordinates into the handheld device for each of the three spots that were plotted by the machine when we hit calibration start. Now we simply find the coordinates with the rover and mark them with paint. This is where we will take additional tests. To input the data, I simply tap the red calibration light at the bottom of the screen and it brings up the calibration screen. I scroll down to the area where I can enter density percentages from the test and hit enter. If this were a real job site, we would have used a handheld nuclear or non-nuclear densometer to take additional tests, or even better, have a core sample taken at these three locations for examination in a laboratory. The lab results will provide us with the best, most accurate information to input into the system to further train the neural network. So I'm actually just going to hit save right now just to show you. Now it's showing our calibration on our, on our menu at the bottom showing as a, a yellow calibration. It means we have added some additional testing to, um, to verify the density. To go back in there and let's say we did have the core sample now. We changed the numbers to what the core sample said. Please check this box, final lab result. Hit save again. And if we go in now, we would see our calibration as a green calibration. 